Hey, how's it going? This is Justin Gilman with Quantum Leads, and today I'll be walking through your digital marketing attack plan to show you how to turn your website into a lead generation machine and really generate some more revenue for your business month over month. Now to do that, we first have to understand how are people finding pressure washing businesses in your area? And if you're like me, chances are you go on Google, you type in whatever service or industry you want, plus your city name, and pick from the first few results either down below in the organic search results or up top in this Google map pack. Now, this seems to be a pretty popular method. As you'll notice up here, there's at least 30 searches a month for pressure washing in Longwood, Florida. Now, obviously, there's a lot more searches out there when you factor in search terms like pressure washing near me, pressure washing companies. But for the sake of this video, we're just going to focus in on this one search term. But I just wanted you to get an idea of how many more searches are out there. But the bottom line is, if we can put our business at the forefront of each of those searches, we can guarantee that at least 30 searches a month see our business first before looking at another competitor. So a lot of potential here, but there's a lot of things that we have to do first in order for that to happen. So first off, let's talk about content as content is king on Google. So let's take a look at one of your competitors and see what they're doing as far as content goes on their website. So here we have Orlando, Florida pressure washing, and you'll notice that they have a ton of different content built out on this webpage if we continue to scroll down here. And you know, it's not just any content, it's content that's filled with keywords and phrases. So to give you an idea of what keywords are, keywords are the most used words or phrases on a web page. And based on these keywords, we are going to tell Google vital information about our business, such as what we do, uh, maybe where we're located, and ultimately, you know, who we are. So it's really important that we have very industry specific keywords because they're going to help put us in search terms related to our business, such as higher volume search terms like pressure washing near me, or even just pressure washing in Longwood, Florida. So we we'll really want to make sure that our keywords, like I said, are very industry specific and our website is very content full. But now let's stop talking about all the things internally that we can do and take a second to talk about the external things we can do. So we're going to take a look at your competitor's external SEO structure and start talking about backlinking and how it really works into everything here. So now here we are on a tool I use called Ahrefs. And to give you an idea of backlinking for a second, the way I like to look at it is that internal SEO is really going to lay the foundation for our website. Whereas backlinking is really going to give us those, those big pushes that we need to get ahead of our competition. So we're definitely going to want the best of both worlds, but let's start talking about external SEO. So you'll notice here that your competition has over a thousand backlinks built to their website, and it's really generating them some power here. And it's ultimately bringing in about 700 users a month and about $4,000 worth of traffic value. And now this is a direct result of both their internal factors, such as their content and keywords and their overall backlink structure. Now, the big thing to think about here is the clear correlation between the strong structures and the value that you're generating. So you really want to ask yourself, you know, what could four grand a month extra really do for my business here? And that's really why this is so important. But let's go back to the Google search engine results page and talk about the Google map pack for a second. So like I mentioned at the start of this video, you know, we can win down below in the organic search results or we can win up here in the Google map pack. And ultimately, we want to do both to create the most searches possible for our business and really generate that revenue. But, you know, there's a ton of different things that the Google Map Pack looks for. So let's talk about citations for a second. I mentioned citations earlier when I talked about external things that we can do. And citations are essentially all the different places your business's name, address, and phone number are listed online. Some popular citations are things like Yelp, Facebook, Yellow Pages, and all those are ones that you can get for your business. And they really help with the Google Map Pack. So let's take a look at how many citations each of these companies has and determine how many you'll need to really go in and start ranking. So here we are in WhiteSpark, and you'll notice that we have Walker Services with 30 citations, Perfect Pair Roofing with 12, and Extreme Pressure Washing is still loading, but if we click on it here, it'll tell us the number, which is eight citations. So all in all, you know, we can really go above and beyond. Um, I normally recommend doubling the biggest amount in here. So if they have 30, we're going to want 60 citations on top of all the things I mentioned in this video. And you should start to see some big improvements in the traffic for your website and really be, be able to generate some revenue for your business. Now, once again, that's all I have for you in this video. My name is Justin Gilman with Quantum Leads, and I'd love to set up a meeting with you to talk about any questions or concerns you have after this video. So please feel free to reach out to me if you want. Otherwise, you know, like I said, ask yourself, you know, what could four grand extra do for your business? And that's why I'll leave you. I hope this video is very educational and thank you for watching.